KOGIC, Kingdom of God International Church. And I'm just here. This is our KOGIC Hour of Power. First of all, I'd like to give our pastor, Pastor Mary, and Pastor Daryl and Pastor Mary Reeves, for, for allowing us to just come in here today and just, just step in and fill in the gap for them. But today we're still talking about taking your life back. Taking your life back. Last, night, last week we had the men of God in here talking about taking your life back. But you, in order for you to take your life back, you got to realize who you are. And, and, and I'm going to do a few Bible scriptures on here today to let you know that who you are and who you belong to. In order to take your life back, like I said once more, you have to follow in God's, God's instruction. But in 1 Corinthians 6 and 19, it say, what? You, what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is, which is in you, which you have of God, and you are not your own. You do not belong to yourself. You belong to God. And in order for you to take your life back, you got to find out who you are in God. He say, for you were bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are of God. So we got to we, we got to we got to know who we are and who we belong to in God in order for us to even take our life back. We got to surrender everything to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in order to even live the life that God called us to live. And He said, uh, "We just got to we just got to live. We got to live right. We got to live holy and and, and, and separated for God." And that's how we take our life back. We just want everybody to chime in, chime in, chime in. Like my, like our pastor Mary say, this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. We are a kingdom of God international church. K O G I C located at 1920 Mel Dale drive, Tampa, Florida. And we are we have a church service start at 1230 on on Sunday and on Wednesdays we start at 730. You are more welcome to join join in and, and come visit us. Chime in, chime in everybody. We are we talking about taking your life back. You belong to God. And he got he has some amazing things for, for us in our life. He said, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask and think, but he gave us the power to do it. He gave us the power to do it, and we got to lean on him and trust in him and not lean on our own understanding. And, and, and God will direct our path. He'll show us where we're supposed to be in him. And I want y'all to know it's never too late. It's never too late to take your life back. I know life circumstances are having all messed up, toe up from the floor up, but it's never too late to take your life back. All you got to do is call on, call on your Lord and Savior. He said, if any man come to me, he said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He'll take it away. He'll take all, he'll take it all away. That's what I'm talking about. You just have to give your life to Jesus. And I just thank God that, you know, he changed our life, you know, and, and showing us how to build this kingdom and reach his people. We, we, can't, we can't stay inside the church. We can't stay inside the church. We have to go out into the, all the highways and byways, and we have to preach his gospel. We got to let people know that they, 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 that they can change. And it all started in your mind. If you can change the way you think, you can change the way you live. You can change the way you live. I got sick and tired of living the life I used to live. And I knew it was more to life than what it is today. And I just and I, and I, and I didn't took my life back because I'm doing the things of God. I'm, I'm doing, I didn't turn my life over to Jesus Christ. And he's showing me day by day. Not to lean onto my own understandings, but acknowledge him in everything that I do. And he'll direct my path. He'll show me the way to go. He'll let me know if I'm going the wrong way. And, that, and that's my decision that I have to make. If you want to take your life back, you're going to have to live right. You're going to have to do the things that God called you to do in order for you to take your life back. I have two more brothers coming in pretty soon here. But I'm just going to share some word of God, which he said um, in Isaiah 1 and 18. He said in Isaiah 1 and 18 that he, can, that he can fix it. He can fix your life for you. He said, I'm going to start at uh, 1 and 16. He said, He'll wash you, He'll make you clean. Put away all the evil of your doing from before his eyes and cease to do evil. He said, learn to do well. 
Learn to do well. That's 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 a start in taking your life back. He said, learn to do well. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless. Plead for the widow. He said, come now and let's reason together. He said, come now and let's reason together. He's not going to change nothing that he's doing. He's not going to change one word. He's not going to compromise anything. He said, come now and reason together. Said the Lord, though your sin may be as scarlet, they should be white as snow. Though they may be red as crimson, they shall be as wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. You shall eat the good of the land. But you have to be obedient to the word of God. And you have to want to do what he say do. You have to do what he wants. And he will, he will change your life tremendously. And I want to welcome y'all. I want y'all to just come and join us at our church. Like we're a church of love. We love people. We're a church of K-O-G-I-C located at 12, uh, 9, 19, 20 Mel Dale Drive, Tampa, Florida. Uh, every Sunday at 1230 to give you enough time to sleep, man. You ain't got to rush and, and get your hair done and none of that stuff. Just come and just join us. Pastor Daryl and Pastor Mary Reese, we'll welcome you with open arms. And we'll show you how to take your life back. You know, it, it ain't all about prosperity. They talk about prosperity. They think it's money all the time. Prosperity is a peace of mind. Prosperity is having your heart right. Prosperity is being able to walk up right with integrity. So if you want to take your life back, man, you have to give your life back to where it came from. You have to give it back to where it came from. And we just thank God for just changing our lives, man. You know, it was his word that changed my life today. And I just thank God for his word. I thank him for the ministry that I'm in today that's showing me a, a, a more excellent way to serve him. You know, and I thank God that he's doing a mighty work in my family. We seeing great things happening in our life. Like I told you, I used to be a messed up young man and individual. I lost everything. Now we finna buy us a house. We have two cars. That's because we taking our life back. We took our life back. I'm talking about we was both all messed up. We, we, we didn't have no sense of direction. We didn't know if we was coming or going. And if anybody want to chime in, the number here is 813-444-9588. If anybody want to chime in, 813-444-9588. And we just thank God, man, for, for what he's doing in, the, in our life, man. And, and you know, and, and, and all the wonderful works that he's doing in our ministry with our youth, you know, he just, he just doing a marvelous work in our ministry. And we just thank God for everything that he's doing. And, uh, I'm just lost for words when it comes to thinking about what God has done for me. And, uh, he said, if any man come to him, any man, any man, I'm talking about, he don't, he's not a respected person. If you want to change your life, if you want to get your life back on the right track, all you have to do is give your life back to the one who gave it to you. That's all you have to do. And, and he'll have a wonderful plan for your life. He say everything in him is yes and amen. Everything in him is yes and amen. And I just thank God for, for everything that he's doing. I'm looking for a couple of brothers to walk in here to help me out here, but they haven't made it here yet due to traffic. And I just thank God for what he's doing in our life. You know, he's he just such a... A marvelous God. He's wonderful. And we all, you just need to give him a chance to, to just change your life, man. You know, he, he'll give you opportunities, man, to where he, if he change your thinking, man, you'll be wanting to own your own businesses and things of that nature. But I thank God for who he is in our life today and, and, and what he's doing. And I give him all the glory. But we have to we have to stay connected. We have to stay connected to God in order for our life to be to, to even take our life back. We have to stay connected to the source. We have to stay connected to the to, to the source in order for our life to continue to to grow and flourish and, and, and be in good health. You know, we just we just have to take our life to take our life back. And that's the theme of our ministry, taking our life back, you know, and and sometimes we can get so caught up in religion and, and you know, and, and, and what man wants us to do and, and what the church wants us to do. But it's all about what God wants you to do. You have to learn and find out who God is for yourself in order to take your life back. And we just thank God today for just allowing us to, to take our life back. You know, he's just giving us the strength to even take our life back. Amen. I think Brother Winfield is here coming in. Okay. Yeah, so so uh 
I just, I just, I just like, I'm nervous because this is my first time doing this, and I thank, and I thank Pastor Mary, Pastor Daryl, and Pastor Mary for just even entrusting to me to come in here and do something that I had never done before. And them the people that God loved to use, the people that just don't know nothing. See, all, all them Pharisees and heresies thought they had it all together. They knew everything. Amen, amen. Okay, we're going into a commercial break. Once again, uh, KOGIC International Church. Amen. Again, 813-244-6953, and let me list your home. You're playing your favorite old school. Minister James Coleman, amen. Amen. Good, good afternoon, man, family. Good to be here this afternoon. My name is uh, Minister James Coleman, and I'm just here to uh, this evening to uh, share about uh, my life. And uh, my journey with the Lord started some years ago, uh, back in 1991, I found myself uh, in the city of Philadelphia just going crazy, doing all kinds of uh, madness in the streets until God called my life. And when he called my life, he sent me to a ministry in Washington, D.C. And it was there in Washington, D.C. that I began to get a hold of the things of God. I want to thank God uh, this evening, amen, for giving my life, taking my life back, you know, uh, because I was a mess out there in those streets. I did everything I could to rebel against the word of God, to rebel against what God had called me in my life. You know, for a long time, I knew that God had called me. But uh, I, I, I had this thing in my heart that I just wanted to go out there and uh, just do all the craziness I could do. Sort of like the prodigal son. Remember the story about the prodigal son? Uh, he had asked his father for his inheritance, and when he got it, he went out in the streets, and went out in the world, and he squandered it. And that kind of identifies my life. I squandered everything that God had given me. He had given me some good gifts. He had given me some wisdom. He had given me a uh, long life. But I squandered my life out there chasing things that I thought would give me pleasure. 
And this evening, what I want to let everyone know out there this evening, that the only pleasure that we can find is in Jesus Christ this evening. Amen. Uh, I was out there and uh, I, I found myself uh, uh, going and messing up two marriages because of my drug addiction. I found myself in the military, uh, uh, just uh, losing all of my military rank. I went from being a sergeant all the way down to a private and, uh, because of my drug addiction. But uh, since I've been here at KOGIC, God has given me a great opportunity to get back in the race. How many can hear me? Amen. And amen. I thank God right now for Pastor Daryl and Pastor Mary, those beautiful uh, leaders that God has given us. And, uh, you know, uh, I just thank God for what he's doing there in KOGIC. And one of the things that I want to speak about tonight, I want to speak about taking my life back. I, am, I thought that at one time I could never get back to what God had in store for me because of the things that I had done. Sometimes uh, in life we can feel as though that a failure is final. Come on, but come this on. year I'm just going to let you know that there's favor at the failure. God wants to see us get back up, get back in the race, and do the things he wants us to do. And I find myself now back into the favor of God. So I'm taking my life back. I'm taking my life back, and I don't want to go back to the things I used to be. The only places I want to go back to are those places where I can find other people just like Brother James, where I can reach them and let them know that there is power in God's Word and that He does love us, and He has a plan for our life. So this evening out there, this evening, there may be some out there this evening that are struggling. And, you know, some uh, uh, of you may have uh, uh, abandoned the Lord and, and feel as though you're so far away that you, you can't get back. I'm here this evening as uh, an encouragement to let you know that God is a restoring God. He has Amen. a plan for your life, and he's going to make sure that plan is fulfilled in your life. Thank you. Amen. Amen. See, Amen. The scriptures say the earth is the Lord and the food is thereof. Yeah. You know, he said he owned the cattle and all the hills. <laughs> so, so, you know, like once you give your life back to Jesus Christ, like I said, I'm talking about once you give your life back to the one who gave you your life, yeah. and then you live that life, then you're having a great perspective in. But then again, we have brother, a minister, brother, Win, minister Winfield is in, has joined us this evening, and he's gonna give us an input on taking our lives back. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is a good part to, to come into, I think. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. First of all, um, I'm not apologizing, but I'm just letting you guys know what happened. Okay, now, and it's it's ironic that I was going to talk about. Because we're in this um, series of taking our life back. Yes, sir. And, yes, sir. And I wanted to, to talk about dysfunction. When dysfunction becomes normal, you know, so many of us are, are so many of us are living with so much dysfunction in our lives that to us it seems normal. So, so we have to get to the point where we decide. We want to make a change, and they, and I had to get to that point, and it's only been recent that I've gotten to that point. Um, one of the young ladies on my jobs encouraged me to watch a video, and this was only a few weeks ago, guys. Mm -hmm. Just on, a few weeks ago, yes, she said, "Um, you have so much going on in in your life, and 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 you're doing everything, and you're helping everybody out. Um, you need to watch this video." <laughs> It's about living in dysfunctional to the point where you think that it's normal. Mm -hmm. And it, and it blew me away for a minute. And I was like, I don't want to deal with that. Mm -hmm. You know why I didn't want to deal with it? Because I knew that it was true. You know, I'm f almost um, 58 years old. And, and I've always lived that way. But I never knew that, you, you know, other people have um, addictions here, addictions there, um, but like I said two weeks ago, we all have addictions, you know, and um, so, so I just want to encourage you that if you're living a dysfunctional life, and what do I mean by that? It's, it's where you're just doing things on a rat right, a rat race, you, you know, you're never on time. Um, things always pop up. Um, you want to do this, you want to do that, and in your spirit, 
you know that is not right, but you do it anyways. And and I I used to be to a point where if I get too far behind time wise, I would just call you up and say, hey, I, I can't make it. Yeah, yeah. But, but on to, mm-hmm. today, even though I live in Loose, and um and the radio show is on Hillsborough Avenue in Tampa, I wasn't going to let the enemy defeat me today. You know, I said I, I made a promise. I want to, to make a change. I have to take my life back, you know. But having one vehicle, sometimes you you have to give a little to take a little. Yes, sir. So, yes. so I knew that I had to get my wife home to Lutz, and I and I wanted to fulfill all my promise because um that's just part of me. I want to stop telling guys I'm going to do something and I don't fall through with it. And then um um I want I want to touch on one other thing about Go ahead, man, sir. being held hostage to others, others let down. Not your let down, but others let down because so many times we, we get into this situation of saying, oh, I don't want to hurt their feelings, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's, so we try to do everything not to hurt their feelings, but hey, what is it doing to us? Yeah. It's tearing us us up inside. Yeah. You know, it's destroying our relationships, you know, not just a marital relationship, but our everyday relationships mm-hmm. on the job, you know, with our kids. Um because we don't want to hurt someone else's feelings, you yeah. know. And I have to get to a point at and I'm working on it, guys. I'm yeah. working on it every day. Like Paul tells us, we have to die to ourselves every day. Yes, so, so I'm working on that every day, but um, that's a tough thing, man. You, you know, you're held hostage because you someone else's letdowns. Yes, sir. You know, and um, we just got to own our moments. Amen. It's all about, like you say, taking our life back. When, yes. you, when you have to take your life back, you, just, you have to look back over your life. You know, mm-hmm. you have to get rid of that old self. Yes. You know, you say, take off that old man. You say, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's mm-hmm. a new creature. All things are passed away. All things have become new. Amen. We got to let that old stuff go in order for our, for our life to even to take off in, into the directions mm-hmm. of, of uh, taking your life back. Yes. You got to forget about all the stuff that you used to do and start all over. Amen. And sometimes people are afraid to start over. Yeah. They yeah. think they'll yeah. miss something mm-hmm. or they're going to mess up something. But sometimes you have to... Let everything go and start all start over. Start over again. Start all over. Get up and go. Get, just get up and go. <laughs> just get up and go. Just start your life yes. all over. Yes. You, you done done everything wrong, so you might as well try to do what's right. You know, start all over. I like that. I like Amen. That. What do you say, Mr. James? Yeah, uh, taking your life back, it really takes a man, a real man, mm-hmm. courageous man to do that. Uh, men, for some reason in life, we, like Brother uh David was saying, we have a habit of making excuses. I remember uh, when I was going through my different marriages, I always made excuses to my kids that uh, I wasn't available and why I wasn't available. But when you want to take your life back, especially here in the, uh, when you're in the, 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 the household of God, it's going to really take a lot of courage. First of all, because there's a lot of things within ourselves that we see that we can't do. Mine was failure. I always had a a, 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 a phobia about failure. You know, if I fail, I, I won't be able to get up. If I fail, I'm no good. So it's going to really take a courageous yeah. person, man, to, to take your life back. And knowing this, that when you do decide to take your life back, it's not going to be easy. Yes, sir. It's not going to be easy. You're going to have all kind of obstacles. You're going to have all kind of challenges. And not only that, you're going to have the enemy coming at you. So you have to make up your mind and be determined. You know, one thing about when you decide to take your life back, you have to be committed to that thing. Yes, sir. You know, you can't say I'm going to do it today and rest tomorrow. You got to stay committed to it. Amen. And once you make up uh, your your determination that that's what you're going to do, God will give you the strength to to bounce back and take your life back. That's what He did to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I found myself back where God wanted me be wanted me to be, and now I'm staying and firm for God. You know and that's a key to to taking your life back. Once you get back on in the saddle, you got to stand firm. Yes, right. sir. Can't let nothing move you. Yes, Amen, sir. brother John. Amen. 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 That sounds like some sacrifices that we have to make <laughs> yeah. in life. Mm-hmm. You know, and sacrifices ain't never been easy. Okay. Sacrifices ain't easy. Like you say, letting go of the stuff that you used to do, and then holding on and, and, and trying to hold on to the new things that God got in store for you. Right. The sacrifices got to let go. Some family members. 
you know, that ain't mm-hmm. walking away, that, that, that ain't on, trying to take on. their life back. So you got to let go some people that you thought was your friend. Because, see, when we's out there and we wasn't doing, and we's living mm-hmm. in sin, see, sin is fun until they catch up with you. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so, you know, sin is fun until they catch up with you. Then when you have to make that sacrifice to do what's right, like you said, uh, Minister James, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cost us. Yeah. It's, it's gonna cost. It's gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna cost us a pretty penny to get our life back on track. But oh, once we get back on track, though. <laughs> once we get back on yeah, track, yeah. amen. And I want y'all to just chime in once again. This is a, a K K O G I C, uh, hour of power. Phone number eight one three four 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 nine five eight eight. Tune in, tune in. Come on, chime us. Give us a call. Give us a call. Give us a call. We just luckily we'll let. We'll be glad to hear from you, man. What you got to say, Minister Dave? Uh, I just wanted. To- Help those that have have um, either turned their backs on the church, or whether it's from um, church hurt or what have you. Um, because um, so many times we live our lives with excuses, you know. And it's and it's time for us to get past that, you know. Um, again, it's called owning your own moment, you know. So what? The church has hurt you. Okay, what are you gonna do? Well, what do you want to do? You, you know, do you want to, to take your life back? Then you make that change, you know. And um, because we all know that the church is an organization, you know. Mm-hmm. It's not the pastor. It's not. Mm-hmm. Amen, amen. Oh, uh, once again, the, uh, K-O-G-I-C we International Church, uh, our power, amen. This is Linda Archie with Tayo Temple United Methodist Church. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month at the Village Market East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Free parking, free admission, fresh produce, live entertainment, vendor shopping, and delicious cooked food. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month, beginning June 22nd. For vendor information, call me, 1-888-991-2502. See our ad in In Touch News or Florida Sentinel. Please call me at 1-888-991-2502. The Village Market at East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Been in a car crash? Call Ricky. Don't know what to do? Ask Ricky. We will connect you with a lawyer and doctor experience in auto accident injuries. Call Ricky at 844-361-7425. After an auto accident, you have 14 days to seek medical attention. You may be in pain. So call Ricky. Ask Ricky for your best options. 844-361-7425. Call Ricky. Ask Ricky is a legal and medical referral service. The lawyers in our network pay to receive referrals. When it comes to reality radio, everyone is a star. Shining star for you to see what your life can truly be. On your smooth soul and R&B station. On the World Wide Web. In Touch Radio. Amen, amen. Welcome back. KOGIC International Church. Uh, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday afternoon service. Our location is 1920 Mel Dale, Mel Dale Drive, Tampa, Florida. We have uh, Bible studies on Wednesday nights at 7:30. Come join us. Come join uh, us. And, and, uh, come and join us. Amen. And we're gonna turn it back over to Minister Whitfield. Yes. David. Thank you. Thank you, Minister John. Well, just before the um, break, I was I was I'm talking about those who feel like the church has let them down or, yeah. or they have stepped away f- uh, from the church um, um, for whatever reason it is. Um, but my thing is, is first of all, I am so glad, and uh, Mr. James, I'm touched on it, but I am so glad that I am s- serving up on the two great leaders who is allowing us to do what ministry really is. You know, loving the people for where they are, you know. Not what you can do for, for KORG, but um, what can you do for the kingdom? And yeah. and and I think that um, once we as leaders um, understand where they are coming from, we can help them to own their moment. We can help them to come back to the uh, um, place of um safety, you, you know, a safe haven because 
<laughs> That's what the, the church is all about. Yes, sir. It's about equipping them so that the, they can go back out. You know, and, and um, so many times, so many churches are are, are um, looking for um, members to help build up their church, help build up their positions. But at KOGIC, it's not like that. You know, um, our pastors are always um, pushing us to be the best that we can be. You know, um, even on today, you know, they put us in front of these microphones. <laughs> you know, I mean, only only so that we can develop ourselves. You know, and um, so our time out for making excuses for what the church is not allowing me to do. I mean, if that's the case, get yourself in front. Of, you know, in a church where you are being used. Where you are being encouraged, where you are being taught, where you are being um, uh, um, made a better disciple, because we all of that, you know. And um, so I just think that um, it's it's an awesome, awesome opportunity at KOGIC. Amen, amen. Like I say, taking your life back. I want to, I want to reminisce on the scripture in Isaiah 43 and 18, 43 and 18 and 19. It say, forget the former things. Do not dwell on your past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it should spring up. You do not perceive it. I am making a way in the wilderness and a stream in the desert. Mm -hmm. Once we give our life back to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I'm talking about we got to forget. Like I said, we got to forget about what we used to do, who we used to hang out with. Mm -hmm. God going to do something new in our life. And in order for you to take your loot, in order for you to take your life back, you got to let go of the old stuff that you used to do. Amen. You got to forget about the old things and let God do what something new in your life in order for you to take your life back. Amen. Amen. And I, and I just, and I just, and, and you know, it was a sacrifice to, to just forget about you know, forget about the stuff that I used to, I had to let, uh, the sacrifice I had to make to, to even to start this life I wanted, to, uh, this new life I wanted to take back, you know. Right. It was a sacrifice for me, you know, and to, to just, to, just to forget about it. Like he told Abraham, he told Abraham, leave everything and go where I told you to go. That's hard. Leave everything <laughs> and go where I told you to go. He say, get up and go. Mm. You know, and, and I just thank God for just, 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 just letting his word just his word made, was made me take my life back. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I you know my mom couldn't change me, my dad couldn't change me. I tried AA programs, NA programs, the twelve step programs. Then none of that changed me. I don't knock none of that stuff. You have to for the people that it did help, but then none of that changed me until I gave my life to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and started doing what that word of God say Amen. do. Amen. And Amen. then I was able to take my life back. I was able to take control of my life. I was able to be the man of my house. I was able to be the father to my children in order for what, to, to take my life back. You know, it ain't all about me. It's about everybody that's around you also. You know, so, yeah. Minister James, what you got to smile on well, that? Well, uh, you know, what I do, uh, what has given me courage and given me strength, when I look at the Bible, I look at David. Yes, sir. We was no David. We know that David was a mighty man of valor. But there was a time in David's life when he was in distress mm -hmm. and where he found himself out there and felt like uh, he, he needed to take crazy. his life back. Yeah. Uh, the story of, uh, I think it's First Samuel, Second Samuel, where uh, David and his men, they were in Ziklag. Mm -hmm. And when he came back from battle, he found out his wife and everything was taken away from him, taken into captivity. Mm -hmm. And uh, David's men began to say, let's stone him. It was David's fault that our, our families got taken away from me. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says that David found strength in the Lord. And see, sometimes when you want to take your life back, you got to find strength in the Lord. Yes, you got to do like David did. David searched his heart. He began to pray and ask God to deliver. And God delivered it and gave him strength. That's what I got to say right now. Amen. 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 Like I say, it's, 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 it's all about change, man. You know, it, in order to take your life back, you got to change your life. Yeah, you know, yeah. you, you got to, you got to just change. You mm -hmm. know, you got to stop doing all the stuff that you used to do. Cause you keep doing the same old thing, you're gonna keep getting the same old thing. But I found out if you work the word of God, the word of God will work for you. Yeah. They say he got to be a do of his word and not a hearer only deceiving yourself, man. If you want to change your life, you got to change the way you think, man. Mm -hmm. They say let this mind be in you, right. which is also in Christ Jesus. What was the mind of Christ? Taking care of the kingdom. Taking care of his father's business. We got to take care of the kingdom. He said, why do we let our house, why we help our house and let the house of God go to waste? Yeah. Well, no, he said, we take care of his house, he'll bless our house. 
He'll bless our house. So we got, to, we got to, uh, we just got to uh, just trust and believe, man, that it's a greater power than ourself. It is, and it's Jesus Christ. Right. I found that out for myself. Minister Dave? I just want to ask, um, you know, because I wasn't here at, at the beginning, but have you all already shared what took place on yesterday? Amen. At the church? Amen. I mean, um, if you had it, well, let me tell you about it. Yes, okay. sir. On, because on. Um, <laughs> yesterday, I mean, our kids really blew our minds on yesterday. It was youth takeover at KO, KOGIC. And I tell you, those kids really felt, they felt, they had a purpose yesterday, and I, th and I think that that is what's missing from a lot of um, um, churches. Also, is that the kids are being set to the side, and they don't f feel that connection, you know. Because I, I have um, two teenagers at home, and that's what they tell me. We don't f feel like the church is for us, um, um, Dad. Um, that's what you want to do, mm -hmm. um, but we don't feel connected to it. But on yesterday, when my daughter was dancing, when her, when my godson was dancing, I felt that they felt connected. When your, um, when your sons got up to yes, um, mm -hmm. share the word, yes sir. That Anthony, well, yes, sir. started out with, with Michael. I yes, mean, sir. he got up there. Mm -hmm. He owned his moment, and when Anthony got up there, I, I knew he had something to share with us. <laughs> yes, sir. Because he always does, but they felt like the church was about them mm -hmm. on that day, and uh, and I just want to encourage everybody out there. If you are listening, if you got kids who are feeling like they are being lost, that the church don't represent represent them, bring them over to um K O G I C Kingdom of God International Church at 1920 Maydale Drive, right over there off of um, Palm River area. It's an excellent church. Um, um, Minister John and his lovely wife, um, Aline, they are really taking those kids by the hands and they are letting them learn who God is, what God can do for their life. And and um, I'm just ex excited, Minister John. Amen. Amen. Excited. Amen. And I'm excited about the new thing that God is doing in our life through our ministry. You know, it's, it's like I say, it, it's, it's all about change, you yeah. know. It's all about taking back well, everything that the enemy stole from you. Mm -hmm. When you give your life to Jesus Christ, you can take it all back. Yeah. Yeah. You can take it all back and start all over and then all fresh and all new. Everything, you know. And like you say, our youth, and our children is our youth. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, that, that, that our youth is our future. Oh yes, that's our future. If we don't train them up mm -hmm. in the way they should go, somebody else will show them how to go some other kind of route. So we got to, we got to impart the word of God into them and let God word minister to their heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let God word change them because that's the only thing that changed me, the Amen. word of God. The word Amen. of God is what changed my life. And, and, and I took my life back. Wow. I took my life back. I'm awesome. talking about, I talk to people now and they'll say, man, I remember you used to be. I say, you heard what you just said? That's <laughs> what I used to be. Yeah. I done <laughs> took my life back. And you can take your life back too. Wow. Come on, go with me. K-O-G-I-C International Church. And I, then I'll show you how to take your life back. And like I said, I want to thank God for Pastor Daryl and Pastor Mary because they're showing us another awesome. whole level in God. You know, I've been to different ministries and been there for a long time. But when God said, get up and go, I had to get up and go and didn't know where I was going. But when I got there, I knew God was there. His presence was there. Amen. And he showed me a better way to take over my life. We talking about buying houses now. We didn't bought cars. And it ain't about financial, but God has blessed us so much financially that spiritually that spiritually that it's just overtaking us. It's just overtaking us. And I just thank God for just giving us that opportunity, you know, to just get it right with him. If you get it right with him, you can get it right this there way. There you go. Amen. 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 I got Amen. different minutes to change. Along if you get it right <laughs> this <laughs> way, you can get it right like right. this. Amen. <laughs> so, you know, it's all about, it's all about God, man. I'm yeah. talking about, then if, 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 I'm, like I said, if, if you're going through anything right now, whatever circumstances you're going through, whatever situation you're going you can call us right now, 813-444-9588. We'll pray for you right now. We'll give you one of our personal number. We'll come talk to you, and we'll let you know that that is a better way in life, that you can take your life back. Amen. Yeah. You Amen. can be the man that you want, that God created mm. you to be. You can be the woman that God created you to be. Come on. But you got to do what God wants you to do. And a teenager. We can't lean on yeah. our own understanding. 
He say, trust in the Lord mm. with all your heart. And lean not, not to your own, own understanding, understanding, but acknowledge him mm -hmm. in everything that you do. And he'll direct your steps. Yes. He'll he direct everything? your path. Everything. He, acknowledge he him in something? everything. Everything, everything. that you do. And, wow. do, and he say the steps of a good man are ordered by him. Come on. But if you're doing what he say, dude, it's going to be all good anyway. <laughs> it's going to be all good wow. anyway. So the steps of the good man are ordered by him, you know, by the Lord. So I, I want him to order my steps because wow. his steps I'll get, allow me to take my life back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, you mentioned something earlier about once you take your life back, people see you in a different light. And, you know, I'm, I'm just blessed uh, that I'm not like I used to be. And it's, sometimes it's good. It's good when someone uh, of your past see you and say, man, you look good, brother. You know, it, it's very encouraging, you know. And uh, for those of you that are out there um, in our uh, listening audience, uh, we're just sharing about how our lives have been transformed because we took a chance and, and had our lives changed again. Uh, changing your life, is all, that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. You know, in life, you're going to have ups and you're going to have downs. You're going to have obstacles. But keep moving. Keep striving. Keep doing what God has called you to do. You know, I'm reminded of a scripture, John. Mm -hmm. In the book of John, John chapter 14, it yes, says, sir. let not your heart be troubled. Yes, sir. See, a lot of times that's what happened to us. You know, we, we allow our heart to be troubled by the troubles of this world. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the trouble of this world will get us so confused, uh, misdirected and detoured, you know. But yes, getting your life back together, you know, God said it. it Jesus said it. He said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. Yes. And he says, I go and prepare. But don't you know that he has prepared so many things for us yes, yes, wow. in life? I can't even phantom the things he has prepared for me. Mm -hmm. Now that I've got taken my life back, I'm on the road that he has for me. The word of God says what? Eyes have not seen. Hey, 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 man, we, we, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. K-O-G-I-C, International Church, International Church, our power. Yeah, yeah. We. I'm Donald L. Dowridge Jr., your motivational guru. This is the DLD Motivational Moment. You got up this morning. You got up this morning. Eyes sneaking open as the feet hit the floor. Got to thank God for the rise this day. The stove perking the smell of nutrition. Get to your destination with planned unselfish acts. Bulletin board read, do you have any to spare? Happiness and understanding. We all have experienced that one phone call. Family member, co-worker, friend has passed on. We don't know our last evening or morning. Get up. Help someone out. Now walk it out. You got up this morning. This has been the DLD Motivational Moment. You can reach out to DLD at DLD28-2002 at yahoo.com or 813-394-5875. Hey, this is Agent Wright, better known as Mr. Clean. You looking for some great barbecues? Come see them two brothers in the grill. Located at 423 Virginia Street, Charleston, West Virginia. We got ribs, chicken, pulled pork, brisket, collard greens, mac and cheese, baby. Come get some and get you a nice smooth cigar. 304-550-4431. That is 304-550-4431. Come get some, baby. The Rib Man, Mama the Rib Man. In Touch Radio, where you can listen to a cruising flow of smooth soul and jazz. Today's R&B, a fun touch of hip-hop and gospel. All my music on one station. Giving you a buffet of music, news, and entertainment. We're In Touch Radio. Kingdom of God International Church, K-O-G-I-C, located at 1920 Meldale Mel Mel Drive, Tampa, Florida. And we're going to let uh, Minister James to continue uh, what he was telling us about, uh, taking your life back. Amen. Yeah, it was a shame that uh, it's a wonderful thing, uh, taking your life back and, you know, having others to see where you've come from and giving you some kind of encouragement and giving you some kind of praise. Uh, but I was just sharing, you know, that uh, God has a p place prepared for us. Yes, yes. And I thank God that uh, the place that he has prepared for me, man, it's going to be glorious. That day that I see him is going to be glorious. But uh, I just want to continue to encourage everyone out there in the listening audience. We are just men that have decided to give up. 
to give up on the things that we used to do and allow God to use our lives. Uh, that's why we're here tonight on In Touch Radio. And uh, as Brother John was saying, you know, we're right there at 1920 Maydale. Uh, just come by and check us out. You know, come by or give us a call and uh, we can pray for you or whatever it might be that we can do for you. We're just three young men that have decided to <laughs> let Jesus uh, take our lives back. Amen, Brother John. Amen, amen, amen. He's a amen. young man. Yeah. Amen, amen. And, and it's a great thing. And it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. a great thing yeah. man, that, uh, to, to want to change from yeah. the person that you used to be, especially if you weren't living right. You know, because like I say, life society can have us all messed up in the mind, you know, and and the, and the fancy cars and the big houses and all that, all that can mess and it can disturb us in the wrong direction. You know, and you see people wearing the big gold chains and driving the fancy cars, and you want this and you want that. But he says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and mm -hmm. all his righteousness, and he'll add everything to your life. If you see God and do what he say do, he'll add everything that you need yeah. to your life. He'll give you the desires of your heart, and he, and he can fix some stuff, you know. He can fix some stuff. When you got some stuff messed up in your life, and my life was messed up. <laughs> and he just showed me through his word how I can fix it because the Bible, some person told me a long time ago, Holy Bible mean he only left you basic <laughs> instructions before Holy leaving Bible. earth. Holy Bible. Wow. So all you got to do is find yourself in that Bible and start doing what he mm -hmm. say do. And I guarantee you, you'll take your life back. Yeah. Minister uh, David. Yeah. My final words are, are, are oh. my final, final words are <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's all right. That's all right. Five words on. You know, is is that once again? Um, again, I I am so appreciative of of God leading me to um, KOGIC um, because when I got here, you know, um, I I immediately fell in love with our leaders. You know, Pastor Daryl, Pastor Mary, um, um, Doctor Walters had told me we feel you know, um, come check it out. You know, but but she, she never pushed me to come over. And um, and when I came, immediately, I was asked, "What do you want to do?" Yeah. You know, they didn't say, "Um, we need you to do this." They said, "What do you want to do?" And Pastor Mary even said, "Whatever you want to do, we'll help you to do it." Yeah. You know, we have some resources. If you want to do it, we'll help you. And when I heard that, you know, I didn't think it was going to be that same week. That's you know, right. <laughs> you know, plus, because one of our, our brothers was in the hospital that same week. Pastor Mary calls me. You know, my trade is nursing. <laughs> I'm a nurse. I work right across the street from the hospital he was in. You know, and um, she said, Mr. David, can you meet me at such and such a hospital? And I'm like, sure. What do you need me to do? She said, Well, I'm all the way across town, but um, I need for you to to go and minister over brother such and such. Yeah. And I was like, In my spirit, I was like, <laughs> This week, <laughs> you know, because whatever we ask for in this season, God is going to give yeah. it to us. Yeah. And and He's not going to wait because He's moving fast. You know, so so uh, I said, sure. So I started going to the hospital, ministering to this young man, not once, but twice, you know, and I had never done that, you know, and I, I felt good doing it. I felt led by God. It was not me. It was God in me, you know, and the brother felt it. You know, he was so appreciative. His wife was appreciative. And I just felt like at this church, I'm being able to do what God has already put inside me. Now, I may not know the scriptures like Minister John, or Minister James, but I try, I try, I do. He said, be a do of his word, Minister. There you go. He said, be a do of his there word. There you go. He can't even remember the script. He said, do what his word say do. Thank Amen. You. Thank you. Yes, sir. I like yes, that. Sir. But uh, I, I live my life based on what's in the word. And, and because... Not every believer or non-believer is going to pick up the Bible and read it. So they have to see the Bible in us. Yeah. You know, and so, so that's my calling, I think, is 
to be a doer of the word, to walk it out. And so even on my job, um, and I always, I have these cards. Mm -hmm. I have these cards, and I'm always passing them out on my job, even to the patients. We're not supposed to, but if the patient asks me, where do you go? Yeah, I yes, said, sir. this is where I go. Yes, sir. And they said, well, well, can I have it? I said, sure. I'm not supposed to give it to you, but you're asking me for it. So I, I give them the card, you know, and and this this ministry has not only allowed me to minister more, but even in the nursing home. I've never done that before either, mm -hmm. you know. So here I am yes. ministering to the elderly. Yes, sir. I've been working with them all my life. Mm -hmm. but but I never worked in this capacity. So you giving them life for Dave. God, yes, sir. you know. And then, but what is so great about it is our senior pastor talks all the time, and he walks, he shows us about financial prosperity. Mm -hmm. I have seen so many people start a business at KOGIC. Mm -hmm. Mr. John started a business, <laughs> you know. I mean, so many other people have started based on the leadership of our pastors, yes, you know. When I got there, I, I have always loved photography, but I've never done it on the business part. Mm -hmm. Ever since January, I have been getting paid to do photography. Sure you know, but, uh, DJing, I have, I have been getting paid now. Amen. You know, but it, it all starts with Pastor Darrell, you know, taking directions from God. And I, was saying, I I was, and I was saying earlier, Mr. Dave, when you went here, that sometimes prosperity ain't always money. Come on, prosperity right, right. is a peace of mind. Yeah, you go. See how happy you is because you're making that money now. <laughs> It's just a peace of mind, you know, mind. That, that your heart is right, that you're living right, mm. that you're walking right, that you are able to help other people, that, that you are able to help other people to take their life back. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you can be a living example. Sometimes we're the closest thing to Jesus Christ a person will ever see. Amen. Amen. So we got to make sure that we take our life back and we and we walk on that right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because people watching us, yes. they watching us. So Amen. what do you got to say, Minister Jane? Yeah, you know, I, I can agree on that. Um, I just want to say this uh, final thing that, you know, we're living in the last days. Come on. Know, we're living in the last days. Uh, as we look around uh, in our uh, society today, we can see uh, that Jesus is coming back soon. Yes, sir. Yeah. There's no better time than now to take your life back. There's no better time than now to, to let God do a work in your life. And uh, I just want to encourage everybody, go to a church, go somewhere, get plugged in and take your life back. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you once again. K-O-G-I-C, Kingdom of God International Church. Pastor Daryl and Pastor Mary Reese. 1920 Mail Dale Bride, Mail Dale Drive, Tampa, Florida. Sunday service started at 1230. Gave you enough time to wake up come and on. come join us. Yeah. <laughs> wake up, arise, and come to church. Amen. God Amen. bless you. Amen. And we Amen. love you. Amen. Thank Amen. You.